What's up, guys? NBA Talk with the last video of the night. The Oklahoma City Thunder defeating the San Antonio Spurs in the stupidest situation possible. Um, It was 98-97, to 97, uh, the, uh, the end score. So the series is tied up. I'm going to go through the stats first so I can explain what was going on the entire game, including the stupidest end. So... Kevin Durant, 28 points, uh, 7 rebounds, 4 assists, and 5 turnovers. Uh, one of them being a huge uh, moment. Uh, Sergi Baca, 12 points, 5 rebounds. He did not show up. He had his moments, but he did not show up. On a big note. Steve Adams had 12 points and 17 rebounds. Um... Russell Westbrook had 29 points off 11 out of 25 shooting. 1 out of 6 from the 3-point range. 7 uh, rebounds and 10 assists. Uh, 2 steals. to be, to be Just to give it flavor. Um, Ennis Kenter had 12 points and 8 rebounds. And everyone else, no. Uh, they shot 48% from the field overall. 26% for the 3-point range. Uh, 48 rebounds, uh, 16 assists, 18 turnovers, which was a huge part into how terrible they played still. But that's for later. I'm going to talk about that later. So let me talk about the San Antonio Spurs. Um, the Oklahoma City Thunder were able to limit Kevin, um, Kawhi Leonard, who didn't take much shots. But he had a very good game. 14 points, 7 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals, and 2 block shots. Uh, he didn't have the same game as he did last game where he dropped 25 points. But he was a big deal tonight. Well, Marcus Aldridge pretty much went... Serge Ibaka, you should be ashamed of yourself. Steve Adams, you should be ashamed of yourself. Shame, sorry. You should, you both, Serge Ibaka, Steve Adams, should be ashamed of themselves. This, no, Marcus Aldridge had a 30 plus point game last time. He had a 41 points in this game. Eight rebounds, three assists, and two block shots. He pretty much bullied both these guys. He was spreading the floor. He was getting stuff in inside the paint with the post-ups. That's just sad, especially from Sergei Baca's um, side. You're one of the best defenders in the league. Best blockers in the league. How? How, how is that possible, man? How? Um, Tim Duncan didn't have much to give tonight. Um, two points and nine rebounds. Uh, nine points from Danny Green. He didn't have much of a good game on, on the offensive end. Defensive end, he had his moments. Tony Parker, he needs to step it up. Because it cannot be LaMarcus Aldridge and Kawhi Leonard. Where is the guy that pissed me off? Where is the guy that pissed me off when the Miami Heat went up against the San Antonio Spurs in 2014? This guy was a havoc. Uh, it's like he was uncontrollable you cannot stop this dude because they keep he keeps slipping through you guys like he's like he like soap he just slips he's too um squeaky um he's too slippery to catch at all but this instance he like he can't do nothing seven points and six assists um negative 14 which is not really true but he needs to step it up big time because it can't be Kawhi Leonard and LaMarcus always all the time. We need another big help. Um, I'm surprised Kyle Anderson didn't have much minutes. Because he played very good defense tonight. Well, last game. Not much. He only played 5 minutes. Uh, Ginobili has 11 points. Uh, very good shooting from him. Uh, David West, 6 points. Um, uh, Patty Mills didn't have a good uh, shooting game. One out of six for the three-point range. Uh, and D-Lyle only played eight minutes. So they shot 42% from the field overall. 26% from the three-point range, which is very good for the Oklahoma State Thunder part. 
because San Antonio Spurs is one of the best three-pointing teams in the league. Good thing, keep them down. Um, that's one of the best weapons out there. Um, 37 uh, rebounds, 19 assists, uh, 10 steals, and 10 turnovers. That's it. So this is how it went down. Basically, the Oklahoma City Thunder came out with a huge start to make up for what they did in Game 1. A very good start, even though Century Spurs had their hands in their faces. They were taking nothing but tough shots on the first quarter. Um, you got to give it up for Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook getting on a good start. But it was pretty much Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook all night long. Um, they were passing in some instance, but not all the time. Even with um, Russell Westbrook with 10 assists, there were times where he did not do that. Um, Kevin Durant, 4 assists. Uh, no one else making uh, plays for them. In the second, third quarter, uh, it was a pretty much back and forth with mostly San Antonio Spurs owning that. A uh, couple lead changes. Um, in the early first quarter, in the early fourth quarter, sorry, early fourth quarter, uh, pretty much Oklahoma City Thunder for the most part. Um, San Antonio Spurs slowly but surely destroyed the lead that they had. Uh, the Oklahoma City Thunder had bringing it down, bringing it down, bringing it down because Kev. I'm just gonna say the whole thing. The Oklahoma City Thunder were making mistake after mistake after mistake. Turnover, turnover, turnover. Brick, 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 brick shots. They were just messing up. And by the time um, it was down to the wire, they were already like one point, two points uh, down the San Antonio Spurs. It was just sad, man. Like the Oklahoma City Thunder could have really lost this game. Truly, truly lost this game. Um, LaMarcus always pretty much led the team, uh, urging the San Antonio Spurs on a good win, um, scoring streak right now. Um, just beating down Serge Ibaka like he was nothing, spreading the floor, getting a three point, uh, free throw, uh, attempts. Um, Thanks to Serge Ibaka, uh, LaMarcus always hit a three-point cut shot that pretty much dropped them down to one. Now it's time for the most BS play I've ever seen. Actually, non-call. That is the point. Oklahoma City Thunder has the ball. Like, like 19 seconds on the clock or 16 seconds on the clock. Pretty much. Oklahoma City Thunder has the ball. Inbounding. Deion Wade has had the ball. Uh, good defense from um, Ginobili. And a lot of good defense from everyone else. Here's, here's the sequence. The most stupidest non-play, non-call ever in a, in a few years possible, maybe. Um, Deion Wade would end up Elbowing, um, um, Manu uh, Ginobili, elbowing him in the chest, right in front of the ref. The ref is looking at them. Those two, he they there was a ref right next to them, looking straight at him, just like I'm doing now, just like, just looking straight at him. No call. Everybody raised up. The commentator said the same thing. Like, where's the call? Where's the call? Uh, Ginobili, even though I think he exaggerated that. Uh, he just fell to the ground. But he... How do you make contact from the inbound? You cannot do that. You cannot make contact with the players while inbound. And this guy gets... He just leans in and just elbows Ginobili. How? In front of the ref. In front of the ref. And the ref just does not call it. Um, and then within. 
And then the next sequence would go is um, Dion Waiters would throw a stupid pass, pretty much throws it up into the sky for Kevin Durant to catch. Uh, Kevin Durant had to jump in the air, and by the time he gets down, Danny Green is all over him, and he pretty much snatched the ball. Of course, you know, um, Danny Green just juggling it, juggling it a bit, but he was able to snatch it from Kevin Durant thanks to that stupid uh, throw from Dion Waiters. So Danny Green, a few passes around. Um, Mills does a three-point shot. I, I'm not sure he got blocked by Steve Adams, but the ball was an air ball. And then it was a, just a scramble all over the ball on the floor uh, in which Sergey Baca was able to hold it on long enough, long enough for the time run out because while all this is going on, the time is running down and down and down, no calls. Or anything, no timeouts or anything. Pretty much, there was no one who really had possession of the ball. The San Antonio Spurs did not have possession of the ball, so they couldn't call a timeout. And Serge Ibaka was just scrambling, just like trying to move the ball long enough, and the time ran out, and it was done. That was a stupid play. And Oklahoma City Thunder got really, really, really lucky. They got really lucky. Seriously lucky on this game. There were so many mistakes for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Turnovers, um, the game plan they went through, um, bad decision making. It was stupid. It was pretty much stupid for them. So that's it. Oklahoma City Thunder are able to survive this one. But they should count themselves lucky and think about what just went down. The last two games in San Antonio, they need to really think about that. They have a few games off. So, they they got until Friday to play. So, they need to really think about what just happened. Because this was embarrassing for them. These last two games, including tonight, was embarrassing. Um... So tomorrow, Miami Heat versus Toronto Raptors, game one. And Portland Trailblazers versus Golden State Warriors, game two. So that's it. Leave your comments below. What do you think about the performance of the Oklahoma State Thunder? If you've seen the play that I was talking about with the Embass, where Deion Waiters did what he did, what do you think about that play? Good night, everybody. Tomorrow. Stupid play, man.